Hi, my name is David Gill. I'm an assistant professor at the Duke University Marine Lab. Why is my area of research important? I believe it is important because it centers on building evidence for what works when it comes to managing and conserving the ocean. Working with collaborators from around the world, we seek to better understand the changes happening in the ocean and share lessons learned on how we can achieve benefits for both people and nature. Our oceans are undergoing dramatic changes. Climate change, pollution, unsustainable fishing are compromising the health of marine ecosystems and the well-being of those that depend on it every day. These changes are having a disproportionate impact on the world's support disrupting local economies, social safety nets, and uprooting coastal populations. Left unchecked, these impacts are expected to worsen in the next few years, leaving the next generation with an increasingly uncertain future. And it gets shunted by the Gulf Stream all the way across the Atlantic to essentially warm up what uh, folks in Northern Europe are getting. But the oceans are undergoing another kind of dramatic change. Over the last few decades, we have seen local communities, country leaders, and international organizations embark on an unprecedented effort to conserve marine ecosystems. Some of these efforts have led to rebounds in fish stocks, recovery of coastal habitats, and improved livelihoods in many coastal communities. My reason for optimism the fact that ocean management is now becoming a priority where it wasn't before. From Goal 14 of the UN Sustainable Development Goals, conversations around the blue economy, to indigenous environmental leaders having a voice in international forum. There seems to be a greater awakening to the urgent need to respond to ocean threats and the need to collaborate with and not against the people that depend on the sea every day. The general public has a critical role to play in achieving ocean sustainability. First, we can keep ocean health in the spotlight by raising awareness of the changes that are happening in our oceans and their effects on marginalized communities. Second, we can support local leaders and rally around grassroots efforts to help bring change on the ground. And lastly, we can individually seek to be part of the solution for oceans, treating the oceans with great respect in our day-to-day -day decisions while we buy, while we eat to move from being users towards being stewards of the ocean.